Thank you so much for the opportunity. Uh, the question that we wanted to address is relatively simple. When patients need to get in contact with their surgeon remotely, do they prefer to call or do they prefer to text? No disclosures. So the conventional method we're all kind of familiar with, if a patient needs to reach their physician or their surgeon, they call the office, speak to support staff, and their concern is either addressed by nursing or uh, further directed to the physician. However, there are plenty of pitfalls with this approach, um, including time constraints, frustration, and in this study, up to 42% of physicians reported dissatisfaction with their telephone uh, protocol. Uh, they're more likely to view patients and staff unfavorably. Uh, this kind of also translates to support staff in surgical practices where nursing-driven nursing uh, triage telephone operations are conducted. Uh, nursing tends to err on the side of caution, uh, leading to increased routine surgeries as well as increased emergency room attendance. Finally, the effect on patients. Patients seem to prefer speaking directly to their physician. Um, they're less satisfied with nurse-driven triage, typically are less compliant with this position, and more frequently call the office, uh, leading to increased work and uh, dissatisfaction within the office. So a potential solution to this are the advent of mobile healthcare applications. Healthcare apps kind of have begun to uh, incorporate themselves into the healthcare system in the form of appointment reminders, medication adherence reminders, and have shown um, improved clinical parameters in diabetes and COPD, uh, for example. But what about enhancing patient-physician communication? For our study, we looked at a single surgeon practice focusing on complex hernia repair 277 patients underwent surgery between 2017 and 2021. Uh, at the initial visit with the surgeon, all patients were enrolled into a HIPAA-compliant healthcare texting app and instructed that this would be the primary mode of communication between patient and surgeon. The app that we investigated is branded Clara. It provides HIPAA-compliant and secure messaging, um, as well as immediate notification and alerts to both the surgeon and the patient whenever a message is sent. This allows for quick responses to be made between patient and their care team. For our study design, we did a retrospective survey study uh, sending a secure link to a depersonalized survey to the entirety of the patient population, short uh, five-question survey that was intended to maximize the response rate. Moving on to our results, the uh, 90 respondents who completed the entirety of our survey, a uh, majority of which were over the age of 50, the biggest uh, age range were between 50 or 60 and 70 years old. This uh, captures a population that potentially is less accustomed to uh, digital communication. The uh, first parameter we looked, looked at was compared to their past experience with uh, physicians or their PCPs where phone communication was utilized, did texting improve or reduce the quality of care that they received? The majority of patients reported improved care with 96.7% uh, reporting some degree of non-inferiority when using the texting in replacement of the uh, conventional phone call. In terms of overall patient preference, 85.6% of our uh, patient population admitted to preferring texting over calling. And this seems to be consistent throughout all the age groups. Um, the potential effect on ED visitation, 15.6% uh, of our respondents considered going to the emergency room either before or after their repair uh, due to uh, concerns over their hernia. Uh, more than half of these patients uh, replied that being able to communicate through their texting application um, prevented them from going to the, the ED unnecessarily. So this small single surgeon's uh, survey study, uh, use of a HIPAA compliant texting app uh, led to a majority of patients reporting improved quality of care 
uh, with over 95% of patients reporting at least non-inferior care with texting over calling. Majority of patients preferred using texting um, and also demonstrated some ability to prevent unnecessary ED visits. Uh, while the limitations of this study are its poor response rate and small sample size, as well as a lack of a standardized control group, it is hypothesis generating whether healthcare uh, mobile applications can potentially be a useful adjunct in uh, surgical clinics, um, and whether this may have some impact on clinical outcomes, such as uh, pain control, surgical complications, and a patient-perceived need for revision.